when all these random cards started raining down everywhere. Bakugan Battle Trainer for the Nintendo DS. And people say there's too many kids games on the DS. Come on, what's one more? And it has friendly monsters that uh, do something. You know, I've had several people actually request a review of this game, and I'm not exactly its uh, primary demographic. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think the developers are going to make anything called Battle Cat Battle Trainer anytime soon, which would be awesome. Winning the hearts and mind of Tila. Bakugan, one goal, two worlds. This game does have some fresh menu music. It makes me want to collect over 25 monsters in all. Bakugan. Uh, these guys are popular, I think. They look like a cross between Pokemon and Super Happy Fun Ball to me. The other Bakugan game was well-received, Bakugan Battle Brawlers. This is the next one, Bakugan Battle Trainer, where you train and care for your Bakugan, brainwashing the little monsters into fighting to the death for you and your enjoyment. In many parts of the world, this would be considered torture, but here, it's caring for your Bakugan, bouncing them like a basketball. This raises their mental power, preparing them for battle. You can also blow into the microphone or tickle them. I didn't find that blowing into the microphone worked on the DS, though. Shouting obscenities at them actually seemed to work the best. The entire game seems like a card game, and you go through these training exercises to essentially give yourself new attacks and cards. There, there may be words for these, but I don't know them. You use the Nintendo DS stylus for just about everything in this game, whether it's rolling your Bakugan around a maze, tapping on things, maneuvering around objects, or just straight up Bakugan combat. For some of these training exercises, you use the D-pad and the stylus. In a way, this game is very similar to the How to Train Your Dragon video game that I recently reviewed where you collect dragons, care for them, train them, and then send them into combat. But the combat in this game is not really a fighting game, it's more like a card game. This is the kind of game that uh, rewards you for spending a lot of time in it because the more that you train, the more powerful your Bakugan become. Bakugan? At first, the gameplay seemed like a glorified version of the card game War, but as you play through it, the enemies become stronger, you need to learn new skills. And that's where the strategy actually comes into play. There's a storyline where some bad guy with like green skin or something captures all of the Bakugan and takes them into space, and you have to fight them in different battles throughout the spaceship or something. Each time you win a battle, you then collect a Bakugan. Yeah. It's the realism that makes this game fun. On a side note, this music sounds very similar to the music in The Dark Spire on the Nintendo DS. Anyway, I've covered the basics, we're going to watch some more gameplay here. Since I don't have the license to play the Rocky theme, play it in your head as we watch the Bakugan train, and then fight in combat. Y you, can almost, you can almost see the little guys rolling beside the Delaware River, bouncing down the steps in front of the art museum. And just like Rocky, they have the drive to become a champion. Actually, they don't do anything, it's all up to you. Here comes the inspirational training music. This has been Bakugan Battle Trainer on the Nintendo DS. I'll see you next time, champions. <laughs>